Hola mis amigos, shimmy 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 So today is a little bit different, I'm doing a sit down video from our regular weekly family vlogs I hope you guys will subscribe because they're fun, they're real life, they're not usually this sad <laughs> This is a subject I've been wanting to talk to you guys about for the past like two years and I've never done it I'm like, maybe it's too personal, but I've gotten really personal in the family vlogs. Like, you've seen me at my best, you've seen me at my worst, you know. You know, everything's not always perfect with between me and Boyd Soy and me and the kids and just me and myself. So, it hits close to home, this whole um, being abused, sexually abused as a kid, that I feel I need to inform parents and, and children if you guys are watching this because for me growing up the signs were kind of there and not there and I feel like maybe if my mom knew or if I knew that it was okay to say what happened to me I wouldn't have gone well I was five years old when this happened so five fifteen I told my mom when I was in high school twelve years so twelve years I kept this secret Maybe things would have been different for me. Maybe I would have gotten help that I needed early on. Who knows? So I want to try to help who I can if this even helps anybody. I'm not gonna say who I got touched by, abused by, um, because it's just, it's too close to home, but it's somebody, immediate family is like your brother, father, mother, sister, right? So it's not my immediate family, but it's like the next circle of immediate family. It wasn't a cousin. I'll give you that kind of hint. Um, but anyways, I was five years old. And I don't know how I remember this, but I remember for some reason going, it was in my house, going into the bedroom downstairs and knowing that this person was there. How did I know? I don't know. And this is the thing I struggle with because I'm like, did this happen more than once? Because how did I know to go there and that this was going to happen? Or did I not know it was going to happen? Because I, I can't remember details like that. But I went into the bedroom and this, this man, you know, sexually abused me. And what I remember is laying on the bed and then we hear, so this is the time, during this time, my mom's upstairs cooking with my grandmothers and I don't know who else is in the kitchen, but I'm assuming it was like both my grandmothers and my mom. All of a sudden we hear, we hear noise that someone's like coming to the bedroom and we stop what we're doing. It's my brother that walked in on us. He didn't see anything, but he walked in and I guess we were already like in, dressed or sitting up or whatever but I think he said something along the lines like that I had to go upstairs that my mom was looking for me or something and that's all I remember from that I mean I know what he did to me um, I know what he did to me and again I don't know if it was more than once or if it was just that one time I can't I don't remember but after I left the bedroom I go upstairs and I'm at the staircase. I remember this so vividly. Like, it, literally, it was like last week. Like, that's how clear this is. So, two, two staircases up. I'm at the top of the staircase. And I see the kitchen. If you guys have watched the vlogs, you know my mom's kitchen. So, that staircase right there. Um, and I say, Mommy. And I'm looking down. Mommy, so and so touched, played or touched, touched my toys. And she's cooking, and you know, my mom is very, she's always in the kitchen, always like frantic and stuff. She's like, ah, oh, well, that's what you get for, for leaving your toys lying around. Oh, my battery's dying, by the way. Oh, I should change that. When she yelled that at me, I kind of just like shut down. Obviously, I was associating playing with my toys with touching me down below. Um, and how would she have known, right? So I don't blame my mother for that. And the crazy thing is, oh, I just wanted my bra. The crazy thing is that someone 
had told her in my family, don't, you need to be careful with your, with your child and see where she's going. Don't leave her around this guy. And my mom didn't think anything of it. Do I blame her? No. Yes and no. I'm like, I'm not saying this is her fault, but it's like someone even told you that and you didn't think anything of it. You weren't suspicious yourself because she's just such a scatterbrain. Like she needs to be such a good housewife that she wasn't even thinking about that. She was an amazing mother, but it's like someone even told you to be careful. And for someone to say that, did it, it didn't make you think twice like, you know, maybe that's why she told my brother to go down and get me. But also, I don't think my parents ever had this talk with me if anyone ever touches me or does this to tell them. Because my parents, and I'm assuming they never did because my parents never talked to me about the birds and bees. They never talked to me about sex, like ever, ever. I had to learn on my own, um, which wasn't great. <laughs> You know, the, lot, the only thing they would say is just like, don't do it. Not like, oh, you can use protection or this could happen if you do it and stuff. Like, they just said not to do it. <laughs> After that, I have no idea what happened with this man. I think things just went as regular. I was a very hyper child, ADD. <sighs> um, so did that cause it? I don't know. I'm like, I don't know if because of that incident, Oh, I have all these issues. I know it's definitely caused issues in my relationships and definitely in my relationship with boy toy. That's what I call my boyfriend, boy toy. Um, like I don't like to be like smothered and I'm not very uh, caressing and sweet and loving. I'm very like standoffish, like, okay, get off of me, you know? And I'm like, but I wasn't like that with other guys I was dating. But then the other guys I was dating, it was like two, three months, and that was it. And this is my first long-term relationship, so it's like, am I associating someone knowing me for this long and who's supposed to love me, and yet does the unthinkable thing ever? Like, you wouldn't expect someone like that to do that to you. Um, but... I'm just saying, like, parents, you have to have this talk to your, with your kids. Ziana, I tell her all the time. Like, it's annoying. Like, if anyone ever touches you, a teacher, Titi B, Titi Carice, Abuelico, Abuelica, uncle, any, anybody. I name cousins. I name everybody. Stranger, your doctor. Inappropriately, and they say, don't tell mommy. Don't tell, tell daddy. They're going to they're gonna get so upset with you. They're going to blame you. And I tell her, they might say all these mean things for you not to tell me. You have to tell mommy. You will never get in trouble for telling mommy. Um, so I hope she understands that and God forbid this ever happens. Like she will be open to telling me. And if your kid ever, ex like if something changes, you know your kid. If you see that all of a sudden they've changed, have become closed off, have become quiet, they, they're acting different around certain person that they never used to. Like question that, question it. Your instincts, your stomach is telling you something. You don't wanna ever think that your brother or your sister or your uncle, your, your grandfather did that to your child. But you have to, like you, if you see the signs, you have to address it with your child. You have to ask them. 95% of the time, children will not lie. Like, I understand kids lie, but when it comes to something like this, and you've seen the changes, you've seen signs, you need to ask them and address it with them. They might say, no, no, nothing happened, nothing happened. But if you feel something, you just need to like investigate it further. And what's crazy is that growing up, I would always ask my mom, did anybody ever touch me? Did anybody ever touch me? Like. Once every couple of years I would ask her and she would always say no and continue what she was doing. Like she didn't stop to be like, why are you asking me this? You know, I just would always randomly ask and I think that was the way for me to nudge at her like, hey, uh, why don't you ask me why I'm asking you, you know? Um, Cause we're not emotionally connected me and my mom. Like we don't talk about life issues in that way. Um, so finally one day I was, I 
think in 10th grade. This is the time I lost all my best friends. They had like a fight between each other and like whatever. So I lost my best friends and I never felt... <laughs> it's crazy how that gets me to cry that I lost all my friends at that time. <laughs> but I had nobody. And I mean, they didn't know what happened to me. But that was like the lowest time of my life during that time. And so my mom's in her bedroom cleaning. Sorry. <laughs> my mother's in her bedroom cleaning the TV. And I remember how the furniture is, is stationed. And I'm sitting on the bed and I ask her, did anybody ever touch me? Finally, she stops, looks back at me. <laughs> It says, why are you asking me this? And that's when I just broke down and cried and I told her, finally, after 12 years, or 10 years, whatever, I told her what happened. And it just was like a relief, like, finally. I don't remember if she cried. I think she cried. And she was really, she was really mad. Um, I don't know what else happened after that, but I did go into therapy and the therapy didn't work for me. Like I didn't like the lady I was going to. So I never opened up about anything. I was, I would go to these sessions and just not talk. I wasn't comfortable. My dad found out because my mom told him and she said she would tell my dad. My dad has never spoken to me about it. Um, he kind of cut that person out of his, his life. <laughs> my mom said she, the reason she didn't want me to tell my dad is because she didn't know how he was going to react. And she didn't know if he was going to believe, believe me. Because, you know, some parents, they don't believe their children. And she's like, I, if he didn't believe you, I did not want you to go through that pain. He believes, thankfully, but I've never spoken to him about it. <laughs> never spoken to my brother about it. Like, you just, you just don't talk about it. Um, so it just, it's so important to talk to your children about it. About everything. And for you, you have to believe your children. They could be lying. I don't know. Who knows? You know your child. Like, look into it. You always need to have this conversation with them. Don't, don't just think it's because you tell them once that it's, that's enough. No. You have to tell them, like, every week. Kids are forgetful. It needs to be instilled in them. Just as much as you want to build their confidence on a daily basis, like you're beautiful, you're strong, you're wise, you're kind, you want to build that confidence within, you know, you also have to instill that this is bad. If this happens, you have to tell mommy it's okay. You know, they have to know what to do. And hopefully they will know what to do. And if you're a kid right now or an adult who still hasn't said anything, have the talk. I mean, I don't know if I would have turned out differently if this never happened. I don't know that. But it's just a nasty secret to keep in. And hopefully you could get the help. Have I gotten help? I've gone to therapy again in my adult years, a few years back, and I stopped. Not because I wanted to. I love this therapist. It's just, you know, it costs money. Um, insurance only pays for so much. And then I was getting a lot of them for free. And it's just the convenience of it all. You know, I had Ziana at that time, and then looking for parking, having to drive out there, and it was just a lot. And I shouldn't have stopped it, but I did. Um, but yeah, this is just, I just wanna let you guys know. Say something, tell somebody that you trust and see how you could work on it. You know, it's not fair that these people get away with it just because we're ashamed of what happened. Is it? It's not our fault, you know. Even though I feel like it was my fault, because I'm like, I went down there voluntarily, and I feel like I knew what was gonna happen, and I allowed it. Like I didn't say anything. I didn't fight the person off or anything. So I don't know. I feel like I don't live with it, but in a sense, I do. <sighs> I just 
I hate, I hate it. Just like crimes against children is just, it, that's my number one priority. And after college, I went to, um, or was it during college? I interned at a child advocacy center and I connected so well with these children. Like I loved it there. Just being able to help them through this. Um, but yeah, anyways, help, see the signs, help yourself, try to get help. Tell somebody if you have it. It's a huge relief. Don't feel sorry for me. <laughs> I just want you guys, you know. This is why I'm always smiling. Everyone always says, wow, you're always smiling, Betsy. It's like, that has been my mask for all these years. And I remember when I was in ninth grade, my math teacher said, Betsy, you're so happy. And I'm like, yeah, if you only knew how, how depressed I was in my life, you wouldn't say that. But yeah, I was just, I'm always smiling, always. Ah, of course, I got my attitudes and I want to slap, slap a beat in the face. But uh, for the most part, I'm always like, ah, kitty. And, you know, serious situations I laugh at and Boy Toy hates that. He's like, I'm having a serious conversation with you. What's wrong with you? And I just laugh. Like someone dies, I laugh. It's just, that's how I deal, deal with that. Um, I don't know. But yeah. I hope I helped somebody. Um, yeah. The next vlog you see will be happy vlog. I think by the time I post this, because I'm, who knows, I'm gonna post this. I, I've done this before, I've recorded a serious video and I have never posted it. So we'll see. But the next video you'll see is another family vlog. Hopefully, we'll be in Mexico by that time. Uh, and yeah. Subscribe for those kinds of videos. No more of these. No more secrets. Well, I'll have one more major secret, which I'm not sure I want to talk about, but we'll see. <laughs> All right. Adios, guys. Thank you so much for watching, mis amigos. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And definitely comment below. It will help us on YouTube. And until next time, adios. adios.